Hi and welcome to my unboxing of the Asus Zen Watch 3. I'm just going to do a brief unboxing, show you what's in the box and give you a brief rundown on the watch itself. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's have a look at the box first. Nice sturdy box, powered by Android Wear. As you can see, it's a nice sturdy little box. Details on the bottom of it. Let's open it up. And that's what we've got there. Ace is in 3. Let's take it out of the box here. Put this. So, inside the box, we've got a little rubber stand. Let's just take it out of the package here. As you can see, nothing fancy, just a little rubber stand. And we've got our charger. That's what's in the box over there. Let's have a look what's in here. Paperwork. And the charging block. Now living in South Africa, this will not work on our plug system. So you would need to buy an adapter, which will cost you about 40 Rand. You can get that adapter at any hardware or electrical store. And get yourself one. And you can just you could also use a standard USB wall plug that you could buy from any uh, reputable store once again a hardware store or any electronic store get yourself a replacement one but I just recommend you use this one get yourself an adapter which is better so let's get back to the watch and have a brief look around the watch as you can see nice sturdy design these metal lugs over here nice and sturdy very rigid it's got a genuine leather strap. I'll zoom in there, have a look, genuine leather strap. Nice rose gold trimming around the edge as well as on the top bezel. The button itself has a gold band around it as well over there. So let me just get in there for you. Now, the difference between the Asus Zen Watch 3 and the Moto 360 that I had are these three buttons, which makes it look more elegant. This is a more elegantly formed watch, more of a dress watch than a sports watch or an everyday watch. I also wear it everyday, but for some people this might be a bit more of a dress watch than an everyday watch. Now, the Asus Zen Watch 3 does not have GPS nor a heart rate monitor. That's not a deal breaker for me. I'm not much bothered with tracking my heart rate or any of that thing. I've got my mobile phone for that. So, these two buttons are programmable. You can program them via the watch interface. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole watch interface with you today. That I'll leave for the next video. Now, the, <coughs> the Asus Zen Watch 3 comes with the new Snapdragon 2100 Android Wear chipset specifically designed and made for Android Wear. Now this watch will be upgraded to Android 2.0. Google has released the um, the Android system to the manufacturers and just maybe a month or two and the Asus Zen Watch 3 will get it. Currently the watches that come out with it are the LG watches and the Moto 360 second gen will be getting it soon. Well. All that discussion is for another video. Let's get back to having a look through around the watch. Now, as I said, Snapdragon, Qualcomm Snapdragon 2100 chipset. Got a 341 milliamp battery, which is good for at least a day. It's also got fast charging. Claimed to be a 60% charge within 15 minutes. 
Now the charger is magnetic and has four little pins. Let's just get in there for you. Those four pins over there. They line up with the four pin holes on your back of your watch. It is magnetic, so all you gotta do is line the pins up and it snaps in place. Plug it in, you charge it. Like I said, 15 minutes charged gives you 60% battery and that is good for at least a couple of hours or even a day depending on your way. Now the Acer Zeno 3 has a speaker as well as a microphone which means that you can listen to sounds via the speaker or via Bluetooth whichever you decide. You can also take and make phone calls from your watch and you don't have to pull out your phone from your pocket. What else can I talk to you about? I would prefer a better stand. Like the Moto 360 has a nice dock that the watch sits on and it's also wireless charging. It's one thing the Asus Zen Watch 3 is not, is not wireless charging capability. You need to plug the charger to the back of the, the watch. And also, this is not much of a, a, a stand or a dock that you can sit on. It's very, very low and it doesn't seem like it's going to protect your watch much or even hold your watch in place. It's not a deal breaker, you can get yourself a stand from Amazon.com, uh, it will cost you about $20, which is roughly about 200 and something rand, excluding shipment and import duties. Well, as I said, the watch doesn't have heart rate monitor or GPS, it's not a trend smash for me, I am perfectly fine using the watch as is without those functionalities. Now in my next video I'll be talking more about the watch itself, basically giving you a rundown on battery wear, but, uh, what it is like using standard Aces watch faces versus anything else that you download from the Play Store or that you create yourself. I'll also be showing you the functionalities, taking you through the UI and showing you the fact that the Aces Zen Watch 3 can take and make phone calls from the watch itself. I'll give you a demo on that in the next video. Well, that's it for me for the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe as usual and keep an eye out for the next one. Thanks, bye.